Is your life a drag? It was for RuPaul until he slapped on a wig and some heels, changed his name to Star Booty, and got herself a recording contract. Her motto, don't be cross, cross dress. She's our agony aunt tonight, whether your problem is spirituality, sexuality, or skirt length. Star Booty to the rescue. Finally, in our child prodigy booth, we have James Harries. At 13, he has written two books, runs an antique shop, and has left school because he finds other children too childish. Hello, they also bullied him on the playground. Well, you can ring this man-child's bell and talk about how he would reform the entire education system. Hello, how may I help you? Hello, James. Hello, how may I help you? How are you doing, all right? Fine, thank you. Do you think you need some more education? Well, I mean, you can have as much education as you need, as long as you have the, the, the uh, you know, the, the common sense, and, and that's fine. I mean, that's all you need. How old were you when you when you decided you know when you thought you you know you you know different to other children? Well, I mostly when I was on a documentary, I was I realised I mean I was just there and I saw the difference between me and the average child just by looking at them. It's the first time I've ever done that. But children are the representatives of this country and they're not doing it very well. I mean, it's because of the parents not bringing the children up properly, and it's also because of the teachers. Don't you realise that, you know, children, you know, I was a child myself, uh, perhaps, you know, not as intelligent as you, because you, you know, you're, you know, in a way, you're a one-off kind of person, like, you know. No, I uh, disagree, because people, have, you know, children can be like me. They can be like an adult. It's just that they're being pushed down too much. They're being patronised and underestimated. And I think if children really were spoken to as an adult and put in with the conversation, well, they would end up a lot more intelligent than people think they are. Oh, but it's a sweet. I love I, it. I really love your outfit tonight. What I want to ask you is, um, I've never worn drag before. How uh -huh. do I get started? What well, well, first, first you need an attitude, honey. Uh -huh. That's the first thing you need. It don't matter what you wear. What uh -huh. matters is how you wear it, OK? What's your, what's your name, sweetie? My name's Larry. Are you touching yourself right now? Uh, no. I'm... Oh, will you? Uh, oh, OK, I'm touching my <laughs> knee. <laughs> no, put your hands on the television set right now, baby. Really? You sure? Yes, put it, put it on. I want everybody to put your hands on the television I... set. Now, everybody say love. Love. Everybody say love. Love and oh. color, then. <laughs> No, they're not naturally greedy, no. What has happened is the government have only given them 3% of information. You go to work, you come back, you support their family, and you make money. That is all the government yeah. have given the average person. That is why the average person is greedy, but because the, all they've got to think about is supporting their family and making money. But the average child doesn't have the mentality to actually make enough, you know, if that was the case, the child could make enough money it isn't money, you see. It is not money which matters in this case. People think that money is the answer. Money isn't the answer. Unfortunately, without money, then you, you would be on the streets and you wouldn't be dressed and you wouldn't have a house. You know, money is one of those immaterial little things which have to be in this world. So how do we survive without money? What's, what's the answer? If that's right. That's what I'm trying to say to you. It, without money, we cannot survive. But it... But then money has done one bad thing. Money is not the answer to this world. Money doesn't make people happy. Because you're born naked and the rest is drag. It's as simple as that. I, I think everybody should put a slap a wig on their head. Shall, shall I tell you who my favorite is? Who is your favorite, My sweetie? favorite has got to be Lily Savage. Who is that? Lily Savage. I've never heard of her. Of course you have. Everybody's heard of Lily Savage. <laughs> has anybody heard of Lily Savage in here? No. No one's heard of her. Oh, well. Do you know anybody in the royal family? I wish they would call me up. Prince Charles, call me, Prince baby. Charles. Talk to me, honey. Let's talk about sex. Sex. Let's talk about sex, yes. What kind of sex do you like? <laughs> well, I like phone sex. Are you touching yourself right now? Would you like me to be? Yes, please. Well, I'm doing it especially for you, then. <laughs> but quite frankly, I think to say that the majority of people in Parliament don't have any intelligence is a, is No, a, is I'm saying thing they've thing got... I'm say. saying they they've got... I'm saying, I'm saying they've right. got intelligence. I'm also saying that you may have all the information you want, right, but they I have not got any common no, sense. I do think you're being very obnoxious. I mean, I don't want to no. be, be rude, but being, but being the age of 13, let's face it, mate, I am 18 years old, and I'd just yes. like to state the fact that I have three A-levels to my name. 
Yes, but you see, you may have all the three A levels, but if you can't speak to someone on the phone and shout and start to and start and start to give, um, you know, instead of say I've got three A levels, then I don't think you've got any common sense. You may have three A levels, but if you can't control yourself on the phone, then I don't think I think those three A levels are useless. Goodbye. Oh, you're a doll. Listen, I'll talk to you in a minute, sweetie. Lovely talking to you. Okay. Bye-bye. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents.